guys welcome back okay so today i have what i call like you know a little haul slash beauty chat video that i want to do i have been doing some shopping here and there a little stuff coming in i actually have some stuff still coming in from black friday and some stuff that i'm still waiting on from black friday sales so that's crazy but yeah i have some stuff here I have, I, if you guys notice, if you watch me a lot, you know that I didn't do any BoxyCharm unboxings last month. And that was because I took a peek and I wasn't all that excited. <laughs> so I just decided not to film them. So I do have my Boxy Premium stuff that I got here because my BoxyCharm stuff, I opened that up and I think most of it I gave to my daughter. I don't even remember what I got. So yeah, I have some Boxy pop-up. Boxy Charm, Ulta, Sephora, Indie Brand, Drugstore, High End, you know, just all kind of different stuff. Skincare, makeup, eyeshadow, just all kind of stuff. So I wanted to just kind of share that with you guys today, let you check it out. You know, you might see something you like or something you have and you want to give me, you know, some deets or some information on it down in the comment section below. So let's go ahead and jump right in because I got a lot of stuff here in front of me. I'll just start with my boxy premium stuff and get that out the way. So, you know, if you care. <laughs> so I did get my boxy premium and it's the theme was fresh start. So I'll just quickly show you guys what they sent me. They sent me this like makeup removing. It's silver infused microfiber makeup removal cloth. So I got this and these are always handy to have. I have these like all over my beauty room because I use these all the time to wipe off swatches and stuff like that. You know, trying to cut back on some of my wipes and, you know, killing the environment and all that good stuff. So these are really good for that and they work nicely to take your makeup off as well. So not mad at this, but since it's nicely packaged, I might just throw this in a giveaway. Let's see. I also got this here. I don't know who I think I'm trying to fool. <laughs> I also got this Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. Um, it is a hydrating mask, I guess. So it just came in this box here. I don't even know if I open oh, look at Look at all that wasted space, you guys. They play too much. They really play too much. Do they really need a whole section just for the 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 instructions? I don't think so. So this is what the tube looks like. And it's actually very cold, very, very interesting because it's actually really cold. And I think this is like that kind of, you know, aluminum type packaging. Yeah, so jet lag mask. And let's see here. It says, we love this as an overnight mask and use it as a hydrating primer under makeup too. Okay, so multifunctional. I can use this as a mask or a primer, which is very interesting. I'm pretty sure it has a safety seal but oh no it doesn't okay <laughs> no safety seal i wonder if i took it off or something already i don't know but hmm. nice light fresh scent it doesn't really smell like anything but that's what it looks like so it just kind of feels like a nice moisturizing you know type deal okay so basically, I'm just going to see this as like a moisturizing primer since it can be used as both a mask and a primer. That's kind of cool. But all this wasted packaging. Mm -mm. Okay, so they also sent me this Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color. So it's kind of like a thick eye stick pencil type deal. And oh, the color is really pretty. You guys know I love blue. And I do like these kind of like jumbo type pencils. So that's pretty cool. Nicely pigmented as well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. You guys know I love colorful eye looks and this will go perfectly on my, you know, lower lash line or something. I'll have to see if it smudges. Also, I got this Laura Mercier Rouge Essential Lipstick. <laughs> so it's in this box here. And that's the color, I'm assuming, which says mauve. Oh, very pretty packaging. Very pretty. 
I don't know if I have any Laura Mercier lipsticks, but that color is gorgeous. It's right up my alley. Very, very pretty. So I got two Laura Mercier products so far. I also got this Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara. I'm probably not going to keep this. I actually just recently used a sample um, when I did like a full face of Fenty not too long ago. And I didn't really care for it. I don't know. I might try it out just to see if maybe that sample that I had was bad or dry or something. But... I mean, it's very, very nice to get this in a boxy charm, but I'm just not sure if I'm going to go ahead and try that one out. And then lastly, I got this, um, it's kind of like a multi-use palette thing from Ofra. It says Good to Go Mint Mix Palette. I like these cute little palettes. Sorry about the glare. Because, you know, you get your bronzer, your blush, your highlight, and then you can also do like a cute little eye look or whatever. So I do like that. Whether or not this bronzer or blush will do anything for me, eh, it looks like it might, actually. Hmm. Yeah, it actually looks like it might. So we'll check this out. You guys know I'll probably pull this in one of my shop mustaches coming up soon. So that was it for my Boxy Premium. It wasn't bad, but, you know, it was okay. <laughs> now, I did pick up some stuff from the Boxy Pop-Up. You guys, if you have Boxy Charm, you know that they have like their little pop-up shop where you can purchase things that you didn't get in your Boxy Charm or things that you did get and you really loved and you want to kind of stock up on it. So, I like to try new things <laughs> through the Boxy Pop-Up because they're so affordable. So, I did grab this Hank and Henry Lust and Lush blush and highlight cream powder duo so this is what that looks like and these are the shades in here so it has the blush and the highlight it looks very bold very pigmented but let me swatch it and see what's happening okay so oh, okay all right yeah it is definitely bold and pigmented so i'm not mad i'm not mad at all at that yes okay i'm glad i grabbed that very nice next i picked up this ginger kombucha vitamin d chill mist from sweet chef it sounded very interesting to me i really like different type of mists and soothing and hydrating sprays you know for my face so i like trying out different stuff like this and with this one being ginger and kombucha and vitamin D, I thought it was um, really neat. So this one says, you know, spritz two or three times. You can use it before makeup to hydrate and prep, over makeup to enhance, or throughout the day to rehydrate, soothe, and cool off. So another multi-use product, and I'm very excited to try this out. I did also grab this milk. What is this? Kush Lip Balm. I think this is... Um, like one of the lip balms that my girls are always kind of raving about. It looks like this. Well, this is what the packaging looks like. This cute little like triangle shaped packaging. And the one that I have is Canatonic. So it just looks like your basic lip balm. Nothing super duper fancy. I also picked up this Love Script. It says Body Butter and Orange Blossom from Lauren Francis. So it comes in this nice little jar. I've already used this three or four times, actually. This stuff is super duper thick. As you can see, you don't have to use a whole lot because <laughs> I have used this like all over my body. And it's really thick. It's nice and rich, very creamy, and it smells really good. I don't know if it smells like orange blossom to me. Not sure if I really know what orange blossom smells like. It just has a nice floral fragrance to it. So, you know, if you think it's going to smell like orangey or citrusy, it really doesn't. To me, it just smells like a nice light floral scent. Not too heavy at all. I like it a lot. Now, I probably got more stuff from the Boxy Pop-Up, but there's probably stuff in my bathroom that I'm using because I like to try a lot of skincare and stuff. 
from them and so anyway this is the last thing that I have here in my box <laughs> that I know that I got from them this is the Violet Voss Pro Highlighter um, palette in rose gold and I thought this was so pretty I don't know um, there's a nice big mirror in here I don't know how it'll fare for me but I thought it was really nice and pretty so you know it's really large size of a full-on palette let me swatch some of these just to see um how i like them i love rose gold highlighter honestly i really do okay so there's definitely pigment here for sure so that's three of them so yeah you can definitely see that rose gold situation going on actually very pretty and let me swatch these last two Ooh, yeah they're all super pigmented um give you some different options you know for lighter tones medium and deeper skin tones not super duper dark of course i actually would rock any of these three because i don't mind having a pinky highlight these two are very very light though but they're really pretty beautiful inner corner pops i like that so that's that okay you guys so if you follow me on instagram then you already know that i did pick up some of the new elf mint melt stuff that they came out with i just got a few of the items i didn't get everything like i didn't want the brushes i didn't get the lip glosses but i did want to try out this minty fresh cooling cleanser that's what it looks like it does have the um you know foaming pump which i love i don't know what it is i love a foaming face wash for some reason so i did grab that i have used that i think twice i love the chocolate mint smell it smells so good and it left my felt face feeling nice and clean i'll have to use it more just to kind of get a feel for you know what it really really does on my skin but so far i like it it's a nice cleanser i also picked up the mint melt cooling face primer haven't used this yet but i did um pump a little bit out on my hand like i'll do now and i was surprised because i wasn't thinking that it was going to be like this clear you know sticky type primer it really reminds me it's like just like their jelly jelly primer i can't think of the name of it but if you guys know what i'm talking about in the little pink tube it's like just like that it's just has a little bit of tackiness to it but yeah it's not a cream type primer at all it's more like the sticky kind of jelly type that is kind of like the hydro grip yeah like the hydro grip type of uh primer and it has a hint smell of mint chocolate to it so yeah it's nice if you like that kind of primer i do like those types of primers occasionally not all the time but sometime so i was surprised about that because i thought it was going to be kind of creamy and then i did grab the two little mini palettes i'm sure you guys have seen these but this is what they look like the green one and then the chocolate one so yeah I'm not sure if I'm going to do a video on these or if I'll just do a look like for Instagram or something. But this one is the Chocolate Mint. And this one is the Mint to Be. So I think they're both very, very cute. Okay, so let's move on to a few things that I picked up from Ulta. I saw these. I had never seen or heard of these before. These two new LA Girl eyeshadow palettes. And when I saw these, I got so excited because I love these style of palettes from la girl they perform very very nicely and i don't know i find myself just really in love with this nice sturdy thick colorful beautiful packaging so yeah i saw these two on sale on ulta for like 11 bucks and i was like i never even saw them so how are they already on sale but okay this one is called the main stage these are yeah so these are from the desert dream collection so this one is called main stage and that's what it looks like gorgeous i love 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 this packaging from them <laughs> so yeah this is what this one looks like hopefully there's not too much glare because i don't really want to take the plastic off right now 
but I love this whole kind of like jewel toned themed packaging. You know, it has the beautiful greens, the blues, the purples, and then you got your pinky, um, purpley tones with a black and the shimmers. The shimmers in these uh, style of palettes that they do are so, so nice. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out. It's really pretty. And then this other one that was on sale is called the VIP. So very pinkalicious packaging. And these are the shades here on the back. And this is what this one looks like. So very, very pretty, um, warm. It's like they always mix like some warms and some cool tones. And I really like that about their palettes. The shimmers are gorgeous, but you can see here, this is like a lighter, more cooler uh, column. Then you move over with your nice bold pink. You got your warm kind of earthy tones, a nice deepening shade, beautiful shimmers, pop of gold. I like it. I think it's really, really pretty. <laughs> so yeah, I picked those up, honey. Got them on sale. I also picked up this Ulta Beauty Baked Sculpt and Glow. Um, it's like a little trio of stuff going on in here. I mainly picked it up because sometimes with highlighters, I like to have like um just like a soft glow on my cheeks but not anything that's like shiny if that makes sense and these type of like highlighting bronzer quads kind of give you that you know to where it's like well if you're a darker skin tone woman such as myself you know i could never use this you know as a bronzer for sure but i could definitely use it as something that kind of gives me like a you know highlighted type look on my face so that is what the bronzer looks like in here and something like this looks really really nice on the cheeks just to brighten up your face without it being shiny of course this is the bright highlighter and then this is the blush shade so this is a nice little three-in-one type situation you know if you want to play with some stuff like this and also with the bronzer and the highlight, you know, I could do, you know, I could like mix them together and it gives me like that nice sheen on my cheeks, but it's not too super shiny. You know what I mean? So yeah, like this highlighter here that I have on, yeah, it, it's not subtle at all, <laughs> but something like that would definitely be nice and subtle on my cheeks. I also picked up this J-Cat You Glow Girl Highlighter. What color is this? Pink Goddess. So yeah, I feel like I was kind of like in a um, rose gold pinky highlight type mood when I was online shopping that day. Because <laughs> this is what this looks like. And this one, it looks like it's going to be pretty glittery. Oh no, it's not too bad actually. Yeah, it actually really isn't. That actually looks really nice. Hello. <laughs> okay, J-Cat. Yeah, I was thinking it might be a bit glittery, but that is actually gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous for a nice, like, icy type highlight. That's pretty. I like it. Now this I truly don't know about. This is from NYX. It's called California Beamin. This is a bronzer from them in the shade The O.C., um, I don't, I don't see it. No. <laughs> I don't see it. I mean, the only thing that gives me hope is that sometimes, you know, bronzers in the pan, they look lighter than they do on the face and yada, yada, yada. But this one here looks like mm -mm, no, no, no. It looks like no. It's a no for me. It looks like, you know, maybe I can use this like as a highlighter or something, but, you know, I'm tired of having bronzers that I use for highlighter, you know, not by choice, but that's what it looks like. It's actually quite pretty now that I'm swatching it. <laughs> it's actually quite pretty, um, you know, as another soft, just kind of glow. Yeah, it's actually quite pretty. Hmm, well, at least I know I can still use it on my cheeks, just not as a bronzer, but that's actually really pretty. 
So lastly, what I got from Ulta is this Becca and Barbie Ferriera. Is that her name? Ferriera? This little highlighting situation. It's called Prismatica. It's, you know, just like a bunch of different color highlighters in here. And Lord knows I didn't need this, but I thought it was cute. <laughs> it's very oddly shaped when you open it. It just, it opens weird. But... These are the highlighters that are in here, and they're actually quite gorgeous. They really, really are. Um, I don't know. I just, I really like stuff like this, you guys. Let me go ahead and swatch it right quick. It's so pretty to me, you know? It's like, now that I am a bit more adventurous with my makeup and stuff, and just learning how to use different things in different ways instead of just automatically shying away from something you know it might not work in one capacity but a lot of things can work in other capacities so yeah it's like these are the colors that are in here so absolutely gorgeous and i did catch this on sale so yeah i could use that as a highlight well actually i can use all three of these as a highlight because i do like um, blushy tone you know like shimmery blushes on my cheeks so I would use this I would use these this I would definitely just put like in my inner corner on, on my lid this definitely on my inner corner so yeah I would use all of these shades in here so even though it is you know like a highlighter type palette I wouldn't shy away from it just because you know there are different things that you can do with these colors and i think they're very very pretty actually okay you guys so i also grabbed the ofra mystery bag from black friday and i think i'm missing an item because it seems like it was five items but it might have just been four i don't remember but it was a really really cool mystery bag that i was able to grab i saw my girl dj show it on her channel so if you want to check it out and see you know what all was in there if i am missing something <laughs> she did open it on her channel as well just pgd but um I have the items here in front of me that I know I got from there. This one was the Makeup Fixer. So it's a light refreshing mist that keeps makeup in place all day long. So basically, you know, a setting spray from them. This I also got was a HD Volumizing Mascara. So very cool. I didn't even know Ofra had mascara, but I'm really not that familiar with all the stuff that Ofra has anyway. I wouldn't have thought that they had a, um, oh, this is cool. I wouldn't have thought that they had a setting spray, but this is what the actual mascara looks like. It's square. <laughs> so I don't want to open it. I kind of do, but yeah, no, I'm going to wait. I'll just have to pull this for a shot mustache because I don't want it to start drying out. But yeah, that's really cool that it's actually square. I got this lipstick. It is a long-lasting liquid lipstick in the shade Verona, which looks like this. And then I also got this um, palette here, which is, you know, just like the one I got in my boxy, except this one looks a little bit more brown girl friendly, quite honestly definitely have no worries about whether or not the bronzer and blush and highlight and stuff will work for me and of course you know i love that there's more colorful shades in this palette so i was really really excited to see this when i saw dj with it i was like oh my gosh is that still available she was like it's still available so i went ahead and snatched one up and i'm glad i did so i did pick up a few things from beauty bay i got a couple of blushes and they sent me something for free Probably because I spent so much. I got a palette as well, but I'll show that with my palettes in just a minute. This is a liquid crystal eyeshadow that they sent me for free, and it's actually quite pretty. This is what the box looks like, and yeah, I was surprised. I wonder if it's <laughs> not the best formula because they sent me this for free, and I thought it was really pretty. Let me see here. I don't really use like liquid eyeshadows that much yeah this is like one of those kind of like bright iridescent type liquid shadows it's pretty but i have to see how that dries down i don't know i stopped buying liquid eyeshadows because i buy them and they just sit there and dry out you know i don't really use them so 
but I purchased two of the Revolution XX Revolution blushes. You guys know I'm a blush fiend, and so you're not gonna see a haul without at least a few blushes in it because I'm I'm crazy for blush. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like for these blushes. Really cute. This one is the shade Crank. Look at that. Hello. <laughs> very bold very beautiful and the xx revolution products that i have tried have been the bomb so i don't really have any concerns about this blush i'm sure it'll be just fine so this next one here same packaging and this is the color on that one so that beautiful like peachy corally type you know shade that i love i love 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 this color of blush now I did grab a few things from Sephora, but this here I wanted to show, this was actually a gift from my girl Lily. I wanted this so bad and I was like, oh, should I buy it? This is by far the most expensive highlighter that I have in my collection. Okay, y'all know Pat McGrath, she be tripping. But this is the Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter in the shade champagne gold okay but when i saw this highlighter and this packaging oh my gosh i just i wanted it so bad look how look at this this is gorgeous i'm not gonna blind you guys but this thing is gorgeous and yes it is just as heavy as it looks okay now i don't know how this highlighter is gonna look on me but i ain't really look at this look at this packaging I'm not really worried about it too much, honey, because this highlighter is gorgeous. This is one of those things where you just buy and <laughs> you just feel luxurious and rich with it, okay? It is so pretty. So, yeah, no. If you're wondering if I'm going to swatch it today, the answer is no. I might use it. <laughs> I might use it because I actually really feel like I want to try it out. But yeah, no, I'm not swatching that today. So I did pick up some stuff from Sephora. At least I got, I believe I got this from Sephora. This is from Artist Couture. It is the Diamond Lux Luminizer. Comes in this little black box. I'll be forgetting sometimes because some stuff, you know, that you can get from the boxy pop-up. It's available at Sephora as well, but I believe I got this from Sephora. So this is Diamond Lux Luminizer in Honey Drip. Ooh, child. Beautiful mirror in here, and this is what this looks like. <laughs> Ooh, ain't she pretty? Oh my goodness, she is gorgeous. Don't want to swatch her. Let me see if I can swatch it without really disturbing anything. A little bit okay so i put just a little bit right there for you guys <laughs> that's that eyeshadow very pretty actually but yeah that is the highlighter this artist couture highlighter oh oh that's pretty oh my gosh that is gorgeous and i yeah i believe i got this from sephora because i believe it was in their sales section and i thought it was so gorgeous so yeah i did grab that I also picked up a Laneige Sleeping Care Lip Sleeping Mask in the scent Sweet Candy. These um, Laneige Sleeping Masks are really, really nice. And I wanted to try out this scent or this flavor, if you will. Oh, yeah. Smells like sweet candy. Yeah, but that's what that looks like. Really, really nice. I love these lip sleeping masks. So I also picked up this Huda Beauty Full Filter Skin Finish Stick Foundation. I went ahead and grabbed one. I've actually been wanting to try this ever since like last year when it came out. And it was getting such rave reviews and it still gets rave reviews. And I was just like, you know what? I'm sick of hearing about it. I want to try it out. So this is the shade that I got. I got Coco. And I haven't tried it out yet. I have swatched it and it looks like... It's actually going to work really nicely for me. I have the shade Coco in the liquid foundation. So, yeah, it definitely is a shade that... Oh, look at that. That looks like that's going to be perfect for me. It's over here if you can't, <laughs> can't figure out where it is. Because it's blending in so nicely. But, yeah. 
I definitely feel like this shade will work. So yeah, I kind of like steer clear of stick foundations because I never like them. They're always either too thick, too greasy, too heavy. So I was really trying to steer away from this, but I'm so sick of people talking about how wonderful it is. So I'm going to try it out for myself. Maybe that'll be the stick foundation that works out great for me too. Who knows, right? I also picked up this Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. <laughs> I've always wanted to try one of these out. I've never had one, never purchased one, but I know they get such rave reviews. And when it went on sale, I was like, well, let me try it out. This one is Sun Dipped. So this one had the shades in here that I felt like, you know, I could work with. And so this is what this looks like. What? Hold on, y'all. Oh, okay. I see. I see what the hype is about. Because it is just like that type of beautiful glow that kind of like melts into your skin. Jeez, that is pretty. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I grabbed it because I almost didn't grab it. I'm glad I grabbed it. That is so pretty. Okay. I see what the hype is about. I see what the hype is about. Okay. And if you don't know, I do love perfume. Oh my gosh. I love perfume. I don't really talk about it on my channel because I'm horrible at describing scents and stuff like that. And it's a lot of work when you go through a perfume collection to kind of look up all the notes and the description and stuff. So I don't even bother. But I love perfume. Most of my perfumes are right there, back on those two shelves right there. And I do have some in my bathroom and sporadically throughout the house. <laughs> but I did grab this little sampler kit from Nest. And I wanted to try these out because I had one sample from Nest and I absolutely fell in love with it and I couldn't remember which one it was. And so I went ahead and purchased a scent that I absolutely love. And so I got this sampler kit just so I can kind of smell them all, play with them all and see which ones I really, really like and if I want to actually purchase any more full size ones. But these are cute little rollerball, you know, samples. And these will last me forever, quite honestly. I probably don't need to buy the actual fragrance because these are like the size that I would throw in a travel bag if I ever get to travel again. <laughs> but I would throw these in a travel bag and, you know, you have your perfume to go for your weekend or week getaway or whatever. And you don't have to carry one of your whole full bottles. That's what I love about these. Roller balls are not my absolute favorite to apply um, perfume with. I like the little small sprayer ones, but they work just fine. So yeah, I did grab that. I smelled a couple of them and they smell good, okay? And then I also picked up this Juliet Has a Gun. I got the small one. I went back and forth. I was going to get the big one. I was like, mm, I don't need the big one, honestly. I buy these big bottles of perfume and it's like, I am not going to go through those anytime soon. So I said, I will buy this size and buying this size, I, it's going to last me forever anyway, because I have so many and I can still have it and use it. And, you know, I don't have to spend $130 for a perfume. So this one is actually 0.25 fluid ounces. So it's actually quite a bit in here. Really, really nice. Let me see if I remember what it smells like. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. It just has a really nice, light, clean, airy scent to this. If you like clean smelling fragrances, that's what this smells like to me. It smells nice and light and clean. So yeah, this little one is enough for me, okay? Because it is actually a decent size. Okay, you guys, so I did pick up some palettes from ColourPop. You guys know ColourPop launches new palettes at least twice a day. At least twice a day, they're going to launch something. So <laughs> I did grab these. This is the, what is this set called? I don't even remember. You guys, y'all know. Is it the love, some kind of love set or whatever. But it's these five palettes that are just kind of like your basic 
um, color stories and they came out with five different ones and I thought they were pretty so I picked them up you know they really reminded me of like the Natasha Denona style palettes and I never buy those um, because I feel like I'm not paying that much for a tiny little palette. I have Natasha Denona shadows and I don't feel like I need to spend that much on, you know, little five pan palettes. I just don't. So this one got a little bit dinged up, but this one is Ballad and I thought this one was really, really pretty. Yeah, of course I didn't need these. I just wanted them, so I got them. This one is a more, and this one is actually really pretty as well. So that's a more. Very pretty, rosy, romantic type color story. This one is Crush. So it's just kind of like your basic, what is that? Like peachy, light peachy, corally, warm tone, golden <laughs> type shades very very light very basic but i know that shimmer in the middle is gorgeous this one is lyric so this one is a little bit deeper it would probably pair very well with crush the one that i just showed and this one is cherish so this one has more of the red tone to it but still very subtle i think these cute little five pan palettes are good for people who like to do like quick run out the door you know easy simple i don't want to think about how to do it eyeshadow looks you know what i'm saying when you only have five shadows to choose from it just makes it easier a lot more simple so i did grab some single shadows of course and i also had some single shadows sent to me <laughs> but the ones that i purchased i actually have been waiting for these since uh <laughs> the holiday sales black friday sales these are from Kristen lee cosmetics and this is what they look like and they are absolutely gorgeous you guys i really really want to do a swatch party with these and do an eye look for you guys so look out for that but yeah they're really pretty all of these up here that just look white of course are some of their really pretty iridescent type you know shadows where it's like they look white but then when you swatch them you know they come off as or they show you know their true iridescent color oh i still got highlighters on my hand hold on so let me at least swatch a few of these for you so you can see what i mean so that's what they look like those are some of the ones in that top row that look white in the pan but that's what they look like when you swatch them absolutely gorgeous you can kind of see on my hands the iridescence iridescentness of them <laughs> really pretty so yeah look out for that and then these were actually sent to me from shine by sd cosmetics she sent them to me and i swatched all of them on my instagram so if you want to see these swatched definitely check out my instagram but i will be using these in looks like i do with my other singles these are so so pretty oh my gosh it's funny because looking at them you don't really see the beauty of these shadows until you swatch them that's really the only way i can put it when you swatch them out and let that light hit it, these are just so amazing. So yeah, these are Shine by SD. Now I did also order some palettes from 5050 Makeup. I have seen Nikki Raven using these palettes and I love the looks that she came up with. And whenever she uses them, I'm like, man, I really need to try them. So I went ahead and tried some of their, well, I went ahead and ordered some of their palettes and I can't wait to try them out. So I did buy their season palettes and I'm going to have to guess as far as which one they are because I don't have the sleeves and I'll keep the sleeves and the name is not on the palette. So I'm going to have to guess by the little drawing on the palette which ones they are. But I know this one is the Desert Volume 2 palette and it really is just like a basic you know like warm tone neutral type palette it's weird when i see you know these shades here and then here but then it's kind of like well there's some cool tones in there as well so 
yeah it's just a basic earthy beautiful palette i know you can get a gorgeous red tone eye look with this this one i'm guessing is the spring just from the little flowers and stuff around it let me take a look yeah it looks like the spring palette so beautiful bold shades in there as well so this one i'm thinking is the summer palette because that looks like summer to me <laughs> If I'm wrong, I'm sure somebody will let me know in the comment section. But yeah, I'm thinking that's the summer palette. Of course, this one is right up my colorful alley. Very, very pretty. If you hear my dog, I'm sorry. He barking at somebody outside. Hopefully, he barking at a delivery man. <laughs> we can only hope, right? This one, I think, is fall. Because it looks like it has the little Halloween stuff on there so yeah it looks like fall to me and oh this one is gorgeous oh that mustardy yellow type shade up there on top mm. yeah it's calling me i could just do a one a one shadow eye look with that and pop that shimmer on my lid gorgeous so we're gonna guess that this one is winter <laughs> And this is what this one looks like. This one is gorgeous to me as well. These color stories, so, so pretty. Really, really pretty. Now, I also ordered from Copacetic Cosmetics. And it took them a little while to get to me as well. But my stuff finally came. So, I ordered what looks like four, four palettes from them. Now, this one here, the Luna palette, I actually already showed. It's super, super pretty. But I showed this as part of my Shop My Stash because I chose it for my Shop My Stash. So this is one that I'm actually going to be playing with over the next few weeks and checking it out. And they have like some of the flaky formula shimmers. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out for me. I'll probably play around with it using, you know, different glitter glues or mixing mediums or by itself just to kind of get a feel for it and see what works best because I'm not that familiar with or really that fond of flaky shimmer shadows, but they're so pretty that I really want to figure out how to use these to my liking. <laughs> now this one here is a little quad called Haunted and this is what this one looks like. And I'm so tempted to swatch some of these. You know what I am, you guys. I'm going to swatch some of these right quick. Just to kind of get a feel for them. Okay. So that's what they're looking like on my fingertips. So that's what some of those swatches look like. Okay. So they're pretty. Kind of have like a satin type vibe to them. Let me swatch this last one. Okay, so yeah. It's not like that blinding type shimmer. It's more of like a satin type shimmer for these. So that is this one swatched out, which is Haunted. This one here is called Lots of Love. Oh, that's really pretty. Really pretty. I gotta swatch these shimmers. I'm just curious because the formula is really different. It's not like your typical feeling shimmer some of them feel kind of flaky some of them feel a little chunky so yeah it's um it's a little different but they are very very pretty oh my goodness are you kidding me do you see that first one oh that's pretty so it's kind of like it's chunky but you know once you kind of like spread it out Oh my goodness, do you see that shift? What? Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay. So, yeah, I just wanted to get a feel for how they look. This one here is Enchanted Garden. And that is how that one looks. So that one looks really pretty as well. Let me see if I have any room to swatch yeah see this is one of their flaky ones here this one is flaky so i have to be careful with that so i'm just kind of like you know rubbing it out just to kind of see what happens 
Oh yeah, so the flaky one, oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. The flaky one, I think I will have to use like a glitter glue with that because it's not applying very well at all. Just, <laughs> you know, just on my hand. But this one here, oh, that's gorgeous. That is this one. So this formula here, definitely duochrome, duochrome um, situation right there. Oh my God, that looks like glass. Ugh. So yeah, some of the formulas I'm in love with already. The flaky one, not so much, <laughs> but we'll figure it out. And then lastly, they sent me a free shadow. This one is called Serotonin. So it just looks like that basic brown and green type duochrome shimmer that everybody has in their collection. So that was nice of them to send me a free shadow. Okay, you guys, we're almost done. I do have a few higher end palettes that I did grab, but I also picked up some miscellaneous stuff from Amazon, okay? Now, you guys know I don't need nobody's brushes, nobody's brushes, but I was looking for like some specific type shape eye brushes, you know, with the way that I like to do eyeshadow and stuff like that, it's like I try different stuff all the time. And sometimes I'm like, man, I wish I had a brush like this or I wish I had a brush shaped like that. And so I was on Amazon looking at different types of brushes and I came across this uh, cute little eye brush set right here. Very generic packaging, as you can see. It doesn't have a name on it or anything, <laughs> but this brush set was like nine bucks and... Let's see here. But the different shapes of eye brushes that were in here online, it looked like ones that, you know, I really wanted to have. So let me just pull these out. But yeah, I think this whole set was like nine bucks and it feels like actually a decent quality set of brushes here. You know, some brushes kind of feel cheap. But these actually feel like decent quality brushes. Um, I do have an Amazon shopping list in my description box. If I ever mention anything that I got from Amazon, I try to put it in that list so you can just click on it and it's right there, you know, if you want to order it. But yeah, these they actually feel really good. These feel feel really nice for nine bucks. So let me just pull all of these out. So you can see the different um, shapes. But these are the different shapes in this brush set. And I really like them. I think they'll be nice for certain detail work that I want to do. Also smoking out, smudging, stuff like that. So yeah, I just went ahead and grabbed these from Amazon. Nine bucks. You can't beat it. How many is in here? Seven? Seven brushes for nine bucks? And they're, you know, full-size brushes, nice, sturdy handles, and they feel really good. So I'm not mad about that. Now, these I just ordered the other day. They just came today, and I'm really, really, like, <laughs> curious about these. I was on the Morphe website because I was thinking about ordering some different P. Louise bases for my eyeshadow. You know, the pink ones, the blue ones, the yellow ones, whatever. And I wanted to, you know, try out some of their bases because sometimes I want to put down a base and then put eyeshadow on top of it to make it really, really vibrant. But I was being cheap. So I was like, you know what, let me go on Amazon and see if I can find some, you know, cheap eyeshadow bases and just test them out for you guys and see, you know, if they work out well, then, you know, you might be able to get a lesser expensive option. So I found this bundle here. Of course, these are from a brand called Hendayan. I have purchased items from this brand before. It's a Chinese brand. And this looks like <clears throat> it's actually a set of like 12. I didn't know it was this many in here. And so I'm going to open this up with you guys right here right now and take a look and see what these look like. Okay, these are supposed to be, you know, some type of bases in here. Okay, so it's called an eyeshadow cream. This is what the packaging looks like 
from him dying. <laughs> okay, so that's what it looks like. So this one obviously looks like it's going to be green. Okay, so I already started squirting some out, but that's how it comes out of the tube, like that. So that is what the green looks like. Ooh, that was way too much. Yo, it's pigmented though. And it's creamy. What? What? And it definitely, oh my gosh, I put on way too much, but it definitely looks like, look at that. Yeah. Way too much, but okay, it looks promising to me. Definitely looks promising to me as a base. It's already like drying down to where it kind of looks like, yeah, to where it kind of looks like it, you know, has that powder feel to it once it dries down. I wish I didn't put so much because I put so much on that it's like a lot for me to blend it out. But do you see that? What? <laughs> And I have all of these, you guys. So this is all like a whole set of 12. So I'm going to open all of these up just to show you guys the colors that I got. But this is a hell of a base. Okay, you guys. These are all the colors that came in that set for $16.99, I believe. So for like 17 bucks. These are all the colors that I got, which is all the colors that I need. Okay, there's a white in here, yellow, blue, orange, red, pink, <laughs> the green, of course, you guys see already, is on my hand. And it's just, I'm so excited to play with these. I am. This is the most exciting thing from my haul thus far. <laughs> because I did not expect it to be that pigmented. Oh my gosh. And... It's like, it's already dry. It's already dry. And look at that. It's not staying wet. It's not creasing. It is just like, hello. So I'm super excited about those, you guys. Really excited. Okay, you guys. So I will let you know that green did not come off with just soap and water. It definitely took some makeup remover, micellar water, a little bit of elbow grease, and it came off. But yeah, it's definitely waterproof because <laughs> I have put my little soap and water on there. It did not come off. Okay, so just FYI. Yeah, they're definitely waterproof. Okay, so lastly, I just have a few palettes, you know, little higher end palettes where I went ahead and grabbed them because I've been wanting them forever. So I went ahead and bit the bullet. Now, Natasha Denona did have a little sale. I believe, was it 20% off or something? So I went ahead and picked up the bronze palette. <laughs> I don't know. It's just something about this palette that made me want it. I think it's really the shimmers, the beautiful warm and gold tone shimmers in here. And so I just went ahead and grabbed it, wanted it in my collection. Now I have it. I also picked up the Natasha Denona Star Palette. This is a palette that I've been wanting forever. I actually had the dupe palette from Shop Hush when Bad Habit, I think, duped it. And I depotted that and did all kind of stuff with those shadows. I don't even know where it's at. But yeah, so, but this um, palette in this color story has always just been really, really pretty to me, specifically the shimmers. I don't know what it is about this palette, but I really, really loved the dupe palette. So I know that I'm going to love this palette as well. But yeah, I definitely think it's the shimmers for this palette. And I just, this is one that I wanted to have in my collection. I don't buy a lot of Natasha Denona palette. Well, I have a few, but <laughs> not a collector by far. But this is definitely one that I wanted to have in my collection. And then lastly, I did pick up a few palettes from Viseart that I wanted. I've been wanting for the longest and I went ahead and bit the bullet. So this first one here is the Editorial. And this is the smaller, you know, one of the smaller palettes. 
very very pretty i just i had to have it <laughs> i've been drooling over this palette literally for years and of course the price tag is just like no no you know i have a million other beautiful extremely pigmented gorgeous colorful palettes so that kept me from getting this but i went ahead and bit the bullet because i'm like you know what i really want to dive into trying out different Viseart palettes and see how I truly feel about them. The ones that I have, I really, really love. Um, do I think they're worth the price? Not so much, but you know, since I do have a eclectic collection of eyeshadows, this is a brand that I definitely want to have in my collection. So this one is the Viseart Grand Pro Volume 3. And they come in this really nice, sleek sleeve, you know, which for the price, I guess that's the least they could do <laughs> for these palettes. So it slides out like so. And it says Viseart here. And this is what this palette looks like. So yeah, this is the Grand Pro 3. Been drooling over this forever as well. Went ahead and finally bit the bullet and purchase this and then lastly from viseart i got the grand pro volume two this one is exactly the same as the three except this is what this one looks like and this is the one that is all beautiful gorgeous shimmers so that is the viseart grand pro two and y'all know I'm not swatching these right now. <laughs> yeah, no. So that's it, you guys. That is my latest beauty, skincare, makeup, all of that good stuff purchases. Um, yeah, and I'm really excited. I really am. I'm really excited about the stuff that I have and trying it out. Let me know if you have any of this stuff down in the comment section, your thoughts, your opinions. If you're thinking about picking any, any of this stuff up, yeah, let's have a chat. So thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you on the next one. Toodles! Talk to me.